The World Health Organization now says there's a possibility, a potential risk. Radiation from cell phones could cause cancer. Turns out participants in the study who used a cell phone for 10 years or more had doubled the rate of brain glioma, a type of tumor. And keep in mind, cell phone use in the United States has only been popular for around 15 years. After several minutes uh, that it really starts causing DNA uh, problems, it even heats the brain. What microwave radiation does, um, in the most simplistic term, is um, very similar to what happens to your food. You put your food in a microwave oven. Uh, it's essentially cooking the brain. If you've ever put a cell phone to your ear, you should listen to what neurosurgeon Dr. Keith Black has to say. There's no way to say that cell phone use is safe. I, I think that the public has a right to know that there could be a potential risk. Environmental factors take decades to see their effect, not a few years. So if it may take decades to get a clearer answer, what can we say about cell phone safety now? All right, now tonight's top story, your lifeline to the world is being linked to cancer. Now, this is the story that we have been talking about all day. Should we really be concerned about using our cell phones? Stephanie, what do you have to say? Well, Cherie, Jack, we've all wondered if our cell phones are passing radiation through our bodies. And tonight, the doctors we talked to confirm there's enough evidence. This is well recognized now as a, as a possible risk to cancer. So we, the most vulnerable age group is, is are going to be children. And more and more kids are using these cell phones. Two showed us his computer model, which shows us how much radio frequency children can absorb. It's oh. enough for two to realize consumers should be alerted and aware. In children, their skull is thinner, their scalp is thinner, so the microwave radiation can penetrate deeper into the brain of children and young adults. And their cells are dividing at a much faster rate, so the impact of the microwave radiation can be much larger. And here's something else that might surprise you. The cell manufacturers themselves actually advise against putting the cell phone right next to your head or in really anywhere in your body. Dr. Keith Black has been talking about this longer than many, but the voices joining him are becoming louder and more prominent. The city of San Francisco pushed for radiation warning labels on cell phones. The head of a prominent cancer research institute sent a memo to all employees urging them to limit cell phone use because of possible risk of cancer. And the European Environmental Agency has pushed for more studies saying cell phones could be as big a public health risk as smoking, asbestos, and leaded gasoline. More than two-thirds of Americans have cell phones, but there's one been a question. Does heavy cell phone use hurt human health? Lindsay Davis reports on a major new study which for the first time shows cell phones do seem to have some mysterious effect on the brain. Some are calling the study a landmark event in our understanding of how cell phones affect the human body. 47 participants had cell phones placed on their left and right ears. One cell phone was activated but muted, the other was turned off. After 50 minutes, the researchers took PET scans of the subjects. Look at what they found. The image on the left shows what happened when the cell phone was turned on. The most active areas are in red. Notice the upper right part of the brain. That's the area closest to the antenna. Compare that with this image on the right of the same subject when they had their cell phones turned off. A committee composed of scientists from 14 different countries of working for the World Health Organization concluded that exposure to cell phone radiation is a possible carcinogen because what the cell phones do is emit a radio frequency magnetic field which interacts with your own biological signaling system to cause this increase. And this expert World Health Scientific Committee found that there was a 40% increased risk of cancer. It's interesting because you look at all the studies out there and most people will say, look, I mean, they're, they're, they're fine. A lot of scientists will say that. But, you know, I've, I've read all these studies, Larry. I mean, I've spent the last year sort of really reading this, and there's 16 really good studies out there, a few since 2000. Most of them, if you really dissect it down, they really only follow the patients along for just a few years. And, uh, you know, people use their cell phones for years and years, and kids start using them. They're going to use them their whole lifetime. Also, some of the studies say regular cell phone use is using it one time a week for six months. I mean, who, who uses a cell phone that little nowadays? So my point is this, that you know, if you read the studies alone, they'll say they're safe. 
But if you start to say, well, look, wait a second, how about if it's 10 years? How about it's 20, 30, 40 years? We don't know yet. We don't know. And if you use your phone all the time, like I, I you know, people in the news business, they have a cell phone to the ear all the time. Is that really safe?